Hey everyone, Retro John here, and today I have for you the brand new 2020 Masters of the Universe Origins Skeletor. This, my friends, I have the brand new Masters of the Universe line from Mattel. Uh, they're going to be hitting the stores this fall. Rumor is August 1st. Some of these have already started hitting uh, the uh, Walmart.com website. They've been kind of appearing on and off. Uh, managed to grab He-Man and Skeletor and a few others that I'll be reviewing later on. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is fantastic. Look at the packaging. It is the vintage packaging. I love it. So let's bring this a little closer here. So we have new for 20 in the corner. Uh, we have the classic Masters of the Universe figure uh, uh, logo here that we've uh, come to know and love. Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction. Modern posing retro play. I will show you where that comes in here as soon as we get to the back and open the figure. And the first thing you'll notice is Skeletor has a new face sculpt. This seems to be something that's going on um, across the board with these figures, and I am okay with that. Um, looking at this in person, I'm actually really enjoying that new face sculpt. I wasn't too big on it originally, but it looks pretty darn cool. Uh, you'll notice in the background here that he looks like he might come with a mini-comic. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, and of course he has that amazing classic vintage Masters Universe bubble right there. Um, it, it's great. And of course we have the Mattel logo right here in the bottom corner. We will turn this around and show off this amazing, amazing artwork right here. And it uh, says the nefarious overlord Skeletor wants to control the power within a gray skull. And close the comic book. Hmm. We're on to something. <laughs> uh, over here we have a, kind of a bio for the Masters Universe Origins. And then over here off to the side we have the features of the figure inside. Much like the vintage uh, figures did on the back of theirs. And just like theirs we also have the uh, classic... Uh, styling of the uh, cross cell here and so you'll see the first wave here it is not an uh, eight back card it's a six back card first off uh, it is he-man Tila man-at-arms Skeletor Evelyn and Beast Man uh, Evelyn was not originally part of the vintage uh, wave one um, we're missing Stratos and Zodiac and Merman so all right, we'll go ahead and open this bad boy up and take a look at the figure inside. All right, everyone, here we are with the evil lord of destruction, Skeletor. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know what to say. This figure has actually surprised me. Uh, I didn't think I was actually going to like it. Um, let's go ahead and go over the articulation on this guy and we'll go over all the details and accessories. Uh, first off, his head is on a ball joint so it can get a nice turn around like so. Look up, down, left, right. So really good articulation in the head. Uh, his arms go out pretty far like so. This is not going to hinder anything. Uh, his arms of course can move up and down. Uh, can swivel at the elbow, bend at the elbow, bend at the wrist and swivel at the wrist. Uh, he can turn at the waist. Uh, his legs can go out so far like that. His legs can go out like that. They can go pretty far like that. There we go. Uh, he does have a twist at the knee as well as bend at the knee. He also has twist here at the boot cut uh, as well as ankle bend and articulation on a ball joint there at the ankle. So lots of articulation for this guy. Now, let's go ahead and go over uh, all the features, I like all the um, uh, stuff going on here, the <laughs> sculpt and everything. Uh, so right off the bat, you will notice a new face sculpt for Skeletor. I mean, he looks like it's the same hood, uh, the paint, you know, the yellow over the green with the red eyes. Definitely screams vintage Skeletor, but the one thing that's missing, or the one thing that's completely different, is the open mouth. His mouth and the vin all the vintage figures was closed. This one is open. Um, not sure why they did that, but you know what? It threw me off originally, 
And I thought this was going to be my least favorite figure. And I don't know, I really like it. I dig it. I think it's really cool. Uh, here he has his nor his um, traditional uh, vest here, complete with that bat logo imprinted on it there. He's got the crossbones going on. Really, really cool. I think it's really hard to see, but I believe this is a two-tone purple right here. Very, it's a little darker than this. Um, just something that might have happened, or it might be intentional, or it could be completely colorblind. I don't know. Uh, we, of course, he has his light blue skin, and he has his uh, little um, loin loin piece here. Uh, and underneath that, you'll see that it is black uh, belt and black um, loincloth. Going down, he does have those awesome monster uh, legs and uh, our calves and feet, which he was known for in the vintage style. And those are pretty, pretty cool. Go to the back. You notice I keep fiddling with the vest. That's because it puts together just like the vintage. Um, I don't know if this could be tightened. You can try tightening it. That's tightened there. I'm going to tighten it up in here. There we go. Right. Yeah, maybe it's too tight now. <laughs> there we go. Ah. All right, and then we put this together. Ah. So, no. Looks like it has to be one down for it to work. There we go. Alright. Okay. Struggle, just like with the vintage vest. <laughs> it is real. And it actually feels kind of neat. Uh, but yes, if you wanted to take the vest off, it comes it goes on and off just like the vintage version, complete with the um, straps here and the hook here. Uh, same with his loin cost piece. Loin cloth piece. I cannot talk. Loin cloth piece. Piece. I'll get it right. I swear it. Um, and then you can see more of the uh, furry loin cloth here. Loin. Cl Little momento. It is time for a drink of water. <laughs> All right. Loin cloth. There we go. Um. But no, it's fantastic, and you can see that there's a little bit more details here on his boots that I think we're used to seeing. Put that up a little more. And yeah, I think this is fantastic. I really do dig this figure. So, with that said, Skeletor stands really nice and comes with some awesome accessories. One of which is a mini-comic. Not a one-page comic like we're used to seeing now with those Masters of the WWE Universe figures. No, this is a full-on comic book. Uh, and here we see the vintage Snake Mountain. I didn't notice that last time. I have yet to read this. Um, really, really cool. Multiple pages. Not as many as the vintage, but still pretty cool. And then we have a cross-sell of the vintage line that are coming in this new Wave 1. And I gotta point this out. I just thought maybe this here was a piece of paper from the printing. I was gonna try pulling it. Don't pull that, because I'll show you here. Look, now I thought on the other comic that it was just a little rough around the edges. No, if you open it up to the middle, you will see that these comics are actually being held together by a piece of string. I don't understand that. And I'll bring in the other uh, comic that came with him came in with He-Man, and notice, yeah, I thought this was just rough edges. No, this is a string holding on, holding all these pages together. Uh, I don't remember the vintage comics doing that. Um, it's interesting that they did that. <coughs> um, so, yeah, I wonder if that's something that's going to be kept, or maybe they'll switch to glue. I don't know. Um, but that's interesting. Now, Let's bring in Skeletor's accessories. First off, let's bring in his Havoc staff. Now, 
I want to note that I did not take a blow dryer to this. This came out of the package straight, just like it is. Uh, this is a much different plastic than the vintage um, Havoc staff, so it's not going to, I don't think, bend very easily. Um, it will go inside his hands just like so, and that is really, really awesome. And because of his super pose ability, we're going to be able to get some awesome poses out of this. Maybe, if I can, there we go. Ta-da! That's really awesome. I love it. Let's see if we can make him do that classic over the head pose that he always did in the animated series. Yeah, there we go. That is really, really cool. So awesome pose ability with these figures. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. Oh. Uh, it does seem a little loose in his hand, though. Um, so you're going to have to pose it just right. Uh, something to note, there is no hook, as you saw, for any extra accessory, which he does come with. He comes with the other half of the power sword. We're just going to leave Skeletor like that. <laughs> Uh, he does come with the other half of He-Man's Power Sword. And you'll notice he does, you will notice if I don't drop it, that he has the holes here for pigs. So we will go ahead and bring in He-Man's half, Skeletor's half, and we'll go ahead and put those together. Now I'm hoping these go together a lot better than the vintage versions. The vintage versions didn't have uh, plugs up here on the blades, so the blades always remained split on top. So here's hoping that's not going to be an issue here. Here we have it fully together. And I'm not getting too much of a gap in between, honestly. We're getting more of a gap at the bottom than I am at the top. That might be okay with that. Let's see if Skeletor can hold on to both halves of the sword. And he doesn't seem to have a problem with it. And I believe I just gave Skeletor the ability to enter Castle Grayskull. No! He man was going to be so disappointed in me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's really cool. And of course you can just separate these. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. And then Skeletor can just hold his own, his own sword. There we go. And... Yeah, I can't really hold on to both. I mean, you can get him to balance it. Okay. But you can't really hold both. So it's going to have to be one or the other. Or maybe old school it and just kind of do it that way. Yeah. I think that works. So... All right, well, there you go, everybody. The new Masters of the Universe Origins Skeletor from Hasbro. And if this is anything uh, like we're getting uh, with the other, you know, with the other figures, uh, this is going to be an amazing lineup. Uh, we also, they already have beasts like Battle Cat. I have him coming in. Uh, they have, they already have a vehicle. Uh, with a uh, He-Man variant, it's gonna be it's Prince Adam with the sky sled. I just can't get a hold of one, and um, so yeah, I mean this <coughs> this looks amazing. I love it. I can't wait to fully start collecting these guys. Uh, these should be hitting the stores. Rumor is uh, August first at Walmart. Walmart will be carrying these first this year, beginning August first. Rumor. Uh, after that, they will be leaving Walmart, not leaving Walmart, but uh, they will be available at stores other than Walmart, like Target, I would assume Myers, anywhere that sells action figures like this. So, all right, everybody, uh, this is Retro John. Please, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, let me know what you think of these figures, and like they say on uh, Eternia, we don't say goodbye, we say good journey.